Now watch me get it stuck. Hello and welcome to a Bitter Lemon Tech Tip. Now here at Hella Sheeta Racing, uh, we've raced a bunch of different cars over the years and apart from the BMWs, what they all had in common was the type of front wheel bearing that they used. Um, it doesn't really matter whether, whether it was the Bitter or the Bricklin or the AMC Spirit or the Bug and the 911. Um, they all used uh, this type of conical roller bearing uh, if, that are pressed into the hub. So I've, I've got a 911 hub here that's uh, damaged. Um, and uh, yeah, and so you can see there's, uh, there's some machine surfaces here on the outside and on the inside uh, where these um, races will go. Uh, so you press the race in uh, to the hub and uh, then you have these um, conical roller bearings that then sit in the races and so you have this on the outside this on the inside and uh, the hub in between um, and so with installing when installing these new bearings um, on this type of hub the job that you have to do is twofold first you have to press in the new races uh, and then you have to grease uh, and pack these bearings full of grease um, before you install them and then you can add seals and nuts and all that stuff all right, let's talk about these two jobs, okay? So pressing in the race um, would be as simple as lining it up and then figuring out a way to get it in. Uh, well, how do you get it in? Uh, my first recommendation is get yourself a the, the perfect tool to press on this race that you can exert force on. And in my opinion, the perfect tool to do that is simply an old race. So what I've got here is uh, essentially exactly the same races from a previous beer bearing job uh, that I've ground down enough that they um, fit in the hole without an interference. Uh, and that means they can never then they can never get stuck in there. Now watch me get it stuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So um, and so with uh, when you when you line up the new race. You can use the old race that is ground down as a uh, way to press on it. Um, and uh, if you're in the field, you could use a hammer. I wouldn't recommend it. If you have access to a, a press, hydraulic press, I would highly recommend that. And the uh, probably the best way to uh, push on this um, would be, for instance, taking uh, an old socket uh, of sorts um, that is just about the right size, and then your shop press can, can press on this. The biggest problem that I find though is lining this up correctly, and this is actually how I ended up damaging this hub, is if you don't get the center exactly, and if you don't end up the first few uh, pounds of force really matter, if you don't do this just right, you can end up, especially on an aluminum hub, you can, you can mar the surface and get it wrong and get it in there crooked. So what I found is uh, I just like to use physics to my advantage here. Um, and uh, put these races in the freezer, uh, get them to a few degrees uh, below zero, and then uh, use the blowtorch and get this to about 150 degrees Celsius or, or 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, if you want to be scientific about it, you can, you can even use a, a, an infrared thermometer. Uh, they're really cheap, uh, really handy for a bunch of things. Um, so heat this up. Uh, and freeze these, and you can even do that at the track, right? Just bring this, and everybody's got a beer cooler or, or something like that. Um, and then uh, what, what, what that will do is that will it will slightly, ever so slightly contract these, will ever so slightly expand, especially on an aluminum hub, these. And then once, once you're there, after a few minutes, you can literally just drop the bearing in. And even if it's just the first few millimeters, that's fine. Now you've got it lined up. Now you've got it centered. Now you can use your uh, ground down bearing uh, and maybe your socket. And now you can give it the old whack with a hammer if you're at the track or uh, put it in the shop press. Um, so that's what I, that, that, that's my recommendation regarding putting the races in. The second job is getting these roller bearings, once you've got those races in there, packing them full of grease. And uh, for that, what I would recommend is a bearing packer. Uh, you can get these at an auto parts store for, I don't know, five, 10 bucks, I hope. Um, they're not very expensive and they're well worth the money. If this is the kind of bearing that you have. And you put some grease down in here. Um, this implement has some holes in it. And what you do is you just drop your, uh, your bearing in there and then you just lean on it and you press on it. And what that will do is it will squeeze the grease through the bearing and you can see 
it has uh, started to do that. Um, and so I've started to squeeze out the old grease. This is actually a used bearing um, and the fresh grease is starting to come out. Uh, it's also a great way to repack bearings um, if you wanna get the dirty grease out. Um, so uh, those, what, what I've shown you here are all things you can do very quickly at, in the field if you need to at the track um, to uh, swap a wheel bearing, which is a pretty common wear item on an old race car. And if your car is from you know, the 70s or 80s, doesn't matter whether it's American or European, chances are likely that you will have a bearing like that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video about the Better Lemon and remember to subscribe our channel.